Hey everybody, it's Tracy Morrow here again. If any of you are painting any of my patterns from time to time, you will notice that I use a glazing medium. Um, I use the Joe Sonia's from Chroma, the Joe Sonia's fast drying glaze medium. I use it for everything. I use it instead of water a lot of the time for a lot of the stuff that I do. Um, in some of my older patterns, you'll see a product called Acrobat or Lacrobat and it's exactly the same thing. It's a fast drying glaze medium and so you can use this in replace of the Acrobat if you can't locate it, which is going to be difficult because I don't think they even produce it anymore. Um, but this glazing medium I use in sort of a non-traditional way. Uh, from a technical standpoint, glazing medium is used to produce thin transparent layers of color. Um, you can use it as is and put barriers between individual colors or you can mix it directly with your paint to create a glaze so that you can work one color on top of the other. The benefit to this fast drying glaze medium is that it does close up very quickly so it doesn't remain tacky or wet for a very long period of time. So it is ideal for working with um, toll painting designs and more traditional toll or decorative painting. It's ideal for this application. I use it in a slightly different way. I use this when I'm base coating. So I'll dip my brush into this and then into my paint from base coats. So if I'm base coating wood surfaces or canvases, it helps move the paint around so that you don't have the paint dragging or sticking. It seems to help lubricate it and you'll get much nicer coverage out of the paint that you're using if you're using this to dress the brush beforehand. The other thing I use this for is for sealing raw wood or MDF. So I will use this straight out of the bottle and brush a light coat onto the surface and then let it dry before I base coat. It helps eliminate the tooth raising in the grain. It also helps um, eliminate any pebbling, especially on MDF. So you'll get a nice smooth surface to work on. So once it's completely dry, you just give it a light sanding and that eliminates um, a lot of those little issues that you might have without making a really heavy, heavy sealed surface. When you use this with your paint, one of the first things you're going to notice is it diminishes the brush marks, particularly for base coating. So if you're looking for that really smooth, smooth surface, dress your brush in this for base coating, pick up your paint, brush it out. You're going to notice that the brush marks seem to level out a whole lot easier. Now, on my painting table, I keep a little jar like this. It has a lid. You can tell it's well loved. It's covered in paint. Um, I keep the lid on in the evening. So I'll, fill, I'll put a couple of ounces of the medium in this little jar. And then while I'm painting, I take the lid off. And this is what I work from. So I have a brush basin to rinse and keep my brushes clean. But when I'm working into the paint, this is where I dress my brush. So, and it's really simple. I just dip it into the, into the glazing medium and then I draw it up the sides like so. And that helps remove any excess. So the brush is wet, but it's not dripping. And then you can just go ahead and load your brush. I'm gonna tip load this angle. And then I'm going to work the brush as if I'm going to float. Now this I've always found impressive. Look at how beautiful, the beautiful transitions you get. Nice and clean. The other thing that this does, when, particularly with floating, when you're using water, a lot of the time, you will get a sort of a halo effect. So you'll have your float, but then out here somewhere, there'll be a line where the pigment has separated from the paint and it floats along in the water in the brush and then you end up with this little halo. Using this Joe Sonia's fast drying glaze eliminates that. Easy peasy. So this is why I use that. It also works with the Decorate Fluid Acrylics with these ones here. It works beautifully. And so you get these really nice vibrant colors without sacrificing any of the, the, the paints attributes. So it makes it very easy to float. So if you're really struggling with the whole floating thing, um, you'll find that it's a whole lot easier if you're using some of those Joe Sonia's. 
when I'm lettering, I use my, you know, my usual, my favorite rigger. I dip my brush into that. Now, I'm going to slide this over so you can see this. If we're thinning paint out with water, it gets to a sort of an inky stage. But watch this. So Now, I'm doing this on paper, and look how smooth that was. Liners are notorious for not holding any paint. You know, you're, you're doing line work and then you suddenly run out of paint. So I just use this Joe Sonia's Fast Drying Glaze. And I want you to see this because this is just always impresses me, and I've been doing this for years with this product. Is look how much paint, how far you can go with this brush, and I haven't reloaded yet. So it'll go a long, long way. So you're lining, doing line work with the Joe Sonia's glaze just makes things so much simpler. So if you're doing those little vines and tendrils and you're always running out of paint, this fast drying glaze will really help you with that. So that's exactly what I do with this. This is Joe Sonia's fast drying glaze. I float with it. I base coat with it. I do line work with it. It's that great, does everything, happy juice that everybody's always looking for. This is my favorite. I use it for faux finishing. I use it for all sorts of things. This is a do everything and anything product for me. So really simple. Get yourself a shot glass or a little jar with a, a snap-on or a, a lid. Keep a bottle on your painting table. Try it out. I think you're going to love it. I have been using it for years. It's fantastic. This is Joe Sonia's Fast Drying Glaze Medium for light application of transparencies of color. Great for line work, great for base coating. You can even seal some surfaces with it. All sorts of fun stuff. And the best thing of all is that it is really affordable and it's readily available. So you can go right to Joe Sonia's website, look for the Joe Sonia Fast Drying Glaze, and uh, joesonia.com is the website. So, Joe Sonia's Fast Drying Glaze, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to hit me up on Facebook or Messenger or even on Instagram. I'll be happy to answer any questions you may have. Thank you.